this is I think this is all well, uh, I think this is doesn't doesn't matter. So I'd like to do the stitch later on. So uh, as you see some people are doing it in the beginning. So I think basically it doesn't matter at all. So maybe when you start you might be able to um, make the first stitch a little bit more precise in terms of lifting the uh, the mucosa. Uh, but in the end, I think it doesn't matter. Uh, my observation is that sometimes, uh, if uh, you're burning, this uh, mold really shrinks and maybe it's not necessary. Yeah, so I, I like to do it later on. Yeah, okay. I'll do the cooling, I'll do the pressing, I'll do checking once again. Yeah. And then I guess I will say it's a patient on the stitches. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. That's then that's true. So when you have the drink, when it's clicking effect, and you see a really reduced prolapse, and obviously you don't need it anymore at the end. So that's it. I'm just for sure. Um, hello, Anne. Is the Enric? Is there a class when you now with the hand theory with Igor Martin and Walter Martin? Can we be ready for this concert? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good. So Mr. Um, Pinot asked me to go further with the text. So we start now with the help. Uh, theory, so the hemorrhoidal, uh, um, what's the acronym? So I don't know. Hemorrhoidal laser procedure. So, and I guess please come and explain it to us. Surgery, of course, because of Italian 
they're emotional, they're kind, and so on, but they don't have science. But anyway, the first expressions was good, and we started to do in our clinic uh, this procedure, first of all, in the first we did a university clinic, then we switched to the, some private clinic, and then we did us uh, to join him into the uh, clinic when I'm working now. And uh, slides about anatomy, I guess we should remember some colleagues of me. There's a rectal surgeon, perhaps now it's in, in, in Berlin, perhaps. And did a lot of studies about vascularization of hemorrhoids. So did some small revolution about this. And uh, really described that this, this, this whole textbook uh, picture is not so true. So there too little bit much arteries, and at this day, Six and so on, and they are also mucosal, and, and of course we can do something with these arteries and, 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 and reduce the symptoms of hemorrhoids. Uh, perhaps there is a picture of these arteries. I guess THD works a little bit higher, they are probably a little bit lower, and see the edges of pain for the patients. That's why we are born in much arteries, THD is triple six. And so on. Another study from again is uh, physiology. A larger hemorrhoid has a larger blood inflow. This is confirmed. And so on. This way, another illustration. Some vascularization has some evidence and some import, impacts to the hemorrhoid development. Uh, how we are doing it's pretty easy. We should do the proctoscopy. We should identify the arteries. We have this pencil like Doppler probe. And when we have a signal, we should burn. We should burn about four spots with five millimeter distance, quite triangle mode. And of course, check for the hemostasis. The hemostasis always is good. It's uh, like this. Of course, it's an outpatient mainly. This is no covering, no washing, and nothing like this. Just a gloss. Uh, here, maybe it's not so easy to see. There is a spot, one of the arteries, which is. Which is, which is Burned and, and actually, we should uh, give uh, four shots possibly uh, like this. Uh, what we need, we need the Doppler device, the old fashioned Doppler device. So that's now a new Doppler device. Actually, it doesn't matter what uh, old fashioned is better because there are not the chips you should use. Uh, but Doppler probe is what you need. We have also the iron probes. Uh, we should have some scopes and of course some laser device. It's better to have some Leonardo because we should change the frequencies if we are changing uh, and to, to, like, to cut something later on and so on. But it's enough if you are old fashioned 1988 frequency device. Selection. Alright, this is a mainly unvoluntary procedure and this is a patient who is not very huge disease. Uh, Vascular disease 2, uh, degree 2, moderate but permanent symptoms. There are people who are going from uh, one doctor to another and taking some uh, ointments and some suppositories and something, something is still unhappy. And maybe, maybe, maybe we should do something. I guess we should, I can remind you, that we are not able to reduce the stage of the chemical disease by the drugs. Doesn't matter, pills or ointments or something, we should do something. Uh, especially on the niching, I will have some slides later about this. About larger degrees of patients wish we can do it, we can do it, and sometimes patients are scared from the anesthesia and so on and so on. Uh, sometimes we are doing this as a bridge to the larger surgery, but the patient is busy, he has. He needs to kill some symptoms, but later on he is coming back to our clinic for LHP, for example, even for PPH sometimes. Uh, we can do additionally as additional procedure. First of all, for example, we can do the hysterectomy, and if there are some hemorrhoids, we can do the uh, health procedure. Extensive skin tachectomy, which sometimes patients are suffering. <coughs> Additionally, to prevent another skin tax and another thrombosis, we can do to help polypectomy, etc., etc. It's better for this last, uh, last uh, part of the procedures is to do this Leonardo because we should change the frequency for, for cutting the 
Before we should treat the cancer patient, at all, we are not operating patients that are constipated because uh, I guess symptoms will come, diseases will come. Some screening tests, but nothing just for coagulation rates and for, 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 for uh, lawyers, some hepatite tests and something like this. Bulk preparation, micro enema, nothing more. Oral sedation is quite important. Uh, environment, if you are uh, dealing with a uh, with, with, uh, with local anesthesia patient, it should be relaxing, quiet, and yes, we should be even if it's, it's, if it's necessary to hurry and so on, we should uh, avoid to show the patient that we are in stress a little bit. Op optimal temperature, optimal position of the patient, and so on and so on. Isolations so that we are the expression and nothing else. Speak with the patient, and this is very important to soon, so on and so on. And then, and then we will have some uh, success about this. Procedure, lithotomy position. Of course, we should mention that this angle between the spine and femur and shank should be met. Uh, we realize that you are elevating the posterior wall, and sometimes it's not so easy to reach the proper scale. Uh, inspection of the lid in jelly, this is if maybe something new has happened when the patient was admitted with some pain or something like this. Dilatation with the dilatator, this is a kit we are liberating and pushing inside. But there are some patients that okay, who suffer from this one, not really, uh, are we able to, 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 to do this, this for 10 minutes and so on. And finally, we are doing the protoscopy. Additional examination, this is the final point when maybe we should, we should think that we should continue procedure or not. Mainly we are continuing. If, if we have any doubts in psychology, is that we can leave the patient alone with the nurse, go out, do something, and come back about five minutes later. And it works. Uh, identification of the artery is by Doppler probe, and it's about the internal hemorrhoids. And uh, as long as possible, I would like to say limitation is a pain. Of course, not into the text. Uh, there are two options classically provided by the industry is this uh, special working channel. But we are running for myself directly, and we like to do this direct back control. This is, I'm putting this uh, as a the Doppler on, I'm keeping my eyes in place, and then I'm, I'm, I'm telling. I'm taking the laser and work for me that clockwise or against the clock is up to you uh, and so on. Uh, of course do not do not expect absence of sound immediately. Sometimes you cannot expect absence of the sound, absence of the sound at all. Uh, but I guess you should return when you finish the later on and maybe to do some extra. <coughs> Uh, changes of the double sound is a good sign. Uh, it's a good sign. Uh, absence almost never you will see. And uh, so on. If sound remains the same, you should go up a couple of centimeters burn once again. Not burn too close. So if it will be larger, you will catch some good effects and bad experience in this field. Uh, and so on. Not to those to the previous spots. As I try to draw. This is the first. We hear some sound, we can go up and do once again this. It's office setting mainly, especially in the small degree case. Immediately after the procedure, patient can be discharged. The care setting, you can have some anesthetic, some intervention of spinal, or something like this, but it's rare. Uh, cost of treatment at all is not necessary, just. Uh, just Ask the patients to wear the parts too. It's pretty important in case of hypothermia, it can be due to the burning, some steroids, maybe ibuprofen or something like this. I wear parts too, as I told, and routine checkup out of two weeks and six weeks post operative exam according to necessity. About the papers, uh, of course, we, we should be a little bit scientific, but it's not so much papers published. 
I get about six, but for for her presentation I got only four. Some fresh presentation, not really at all. From the states, I guess uh, two years uh, observation, second third degree. Got the bleeding eight percent, but the trouble is eight percent, and says that it's a good and a good improvement until ninety seventy ninety seven percent. Great at all, it's the ninety seven percent patients. Two years, he gets a reduction of the degree, which was significant. Uh, Recurrency five percent. Also recognizes the same procedure. Jamundo, we all know him. Later, we know him. He's a very, very nice and popular guy. And he published the first, perhaps single comparative study of his health with the rubber band, and uh, said that the pain score was lower with uh, the health procedure, and that's a life quality.
place looks like this black caramelization inside. Okay. 
procedure when you do the procedure? Uh, just a little bit, Joe. Just a jelly. Okay, just because, a little bit. because we didn't see this. You can do LHP also in local anesthesia. You don't have to do it in uh, general anesthesia. There's a guy in Holland, uh, Dr. Fuli Shu, who did 150 cases of LHP just in local anesthesia. This works. But it takes more time, it's more time consuming, it takes 30 to 45 minutes for an operation. He's only treating two piles instead of three to four. So these are the limitations. But if you have an office structure or whatever, where you don't have general anesthesia, you can do it also in local anesthesia. So this is possible. But of course you need some experience uh, before you do that. Um, what I Two other questions for the operative procedure. How many vessels do you treat? So usually in THD they say we have six, but we know we can have up to eight or ten vessels in the Seven till twelve with us. Yeah. Sometimes we are burning twice, so seven till twelve. So this is a lot more than we have with THD. Because I think we have more now than the branches are much. Yeah, okay. And one thing I was wondering, when you remove the Doppler probe and then you have to go in back with uh, the laser probe, mm -hmm. uh, don't you feel that you miss a spot you were picking up before? Uh, this is uh, what the, the video said, this is a question of training. Yes. The idea is you have a good assistant nurse that you are moving, you are looking the same way, they are giving the, the probe as a pencil, and going. Yeah, so you, you really concentrate, focus, yeah. if you hit the right spot you were yeah. before. That's why we really don't like this special device. Well, okay. Something did it. I will learn. Okay. So you see, this is a great outpatient procedure. So this helps a lot. Uh, it always differs from country to country how the reimbursement is. In Germany we don't use it because we don't have a reimbursement for this procedure. Uh, that's the only reason. It was reimbursed 10 years ago, we stopped it, so it's not open on the market anymore. But we see from the studies from John Mundo and also from Eigers, uh, not John Mundo, from, yeah, John Mundo, uh, Paolo, uh, that it's a good indication for uh, the minor symptoms of hemorrhoidal disease, for the first and the second degree hemorrhoidal disease, and uh, go ahead and do it, so the patient will love it. These were my comments, some more from the audience. Okay, then we thank Igor for his presentation, and I think